What is in this case? A trumpet. Bundy by Selmer. Acquired at auction. Serial 150446. A very deep gloss finish of that era. I've not been fond of it. It's kind of pitted. Not terrible. A few dings in the instrument. Slides all work. Valves all work. One problem area is that the main tuning slide has been overworked and will need to be re-soldered, but all the parts are there. Uh, what looks suspiciously like red rot down the lead pipe, we'll see how deep that goes. Uh, but for a $50 instrument, I'm not going to spend $200 for a lead pipe. Because, let's face it, I don't play trumpet anyway. So the plan of the moment is to try soda blasting. Lots of different uh, techniques on YouTube about how to refinish brass instruments. I haven't seen soda blasting on a brass instrument. If that doesn't work, we might try some sand blasting because I have access to one of those. And if that doesn't work, we'll just de-lacquer the whole thing and go into a brush, uh, sort of a brushed brass finish. One other curiosity is that the bell itself was unfinished, so whether some uh, student uh, unfinished it or came that way from the factory is a bit of a mystery. We'll try to clean that up a little bit. I don't mind the patina, but could be a little cleaner. It's Blast the Trumpet Day. I'm working outside, so every string trimmer within a 15 mile radius is fired up. It'll probably run during the duration. Bundy. Designed by someone, someone, so by Selmer. Center pneumatic, 34 ounce abrasive blast gun. I didn't even try to adjust the nozzle, I just blasted whatever I had. Shooting at about 100 pounds. Um, here's the device itself. Plugging in and uh, the little gauge. Pretty simple operation. Used about half a box. 32 ounces of baking soda, 100% pure, except no substitutes. So there's uh, some soda blasting. It's not just covering the surface with powder, it does take down the finish. It's kind of an interesting look, so I'll probably continue this for a while until I get bored. So here we are after one quick blast. A uh, few still shiny spots. Rinsed it off with a garden hose, dried it off. Um, 
did take off the patina. You can see uh, particularly on the third, I'm sorry, first valve and the second one where it got more attention. Uh, there's quite a difference there. Took down the glass and uh, more of a contemporary look, a uh, flatter look without entire stripping and all that rigmarole. And here's at least the semi-finished product with the slides back in. I left them shiny just to give it a little contrast. Um, here's the other side. 